Hello everyone and welcome to Dubai. We are Charlotte and Corey and in this video we are going to take you on a tour of the best of Dubai. The first stop on our tour of Dubai is the most iconic attraction here. It is the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa. We're on level 125, so with the general tickets you go to level 124, 125. 124 has an outside observation deck and yeah, we're very, very high, but we have got a bit of a haze come in, so we can't really see the horizon. But yeah, it is an impressive view and a little bit scary. Opened in 2010, the Burj Khalifa holds many world records to its name, including tallest building in the world, highest number of stories in the world, and the highest outdoor observation deck in the world. Standing 828 meters high, it is truly a sight to behold and a must-do in Dubai. Being this high, you get a real sense of the landscape of Dubai and how the city melts into the desert. It's truly like you're looking out the window of a plane, looking down upon the city and all of its buildings and structures. Hold on. Hold on. We're now making our way back down. And up. <laughs> We're here to watch another fountain show, but we have just paid 20 dirham east to go on this floating purple. <laughs> We're gonna fall over. To go on this floating boardwalk and we have literally we have the most epic view of the fountain show. This is a steal. How good? That was incredible. That is such a top tip for Dubai. You're paying literally around four pounds and you're getting a front row seat, no crowds. You can move around. You have to fight your way to the front and you get the most epic view. That is probably one of our top recommendations of things to do in Dubai. Burj Khalifa here, fountain show over here. How cool is this? Well, we just watched the fountain show and we stayed here for 15 minutes so we could watch the light show on the Burj Khalifa. Yeah. Now things are moving along and I'm picking up speed. We have come to the view at the palm because we wanted to see the best view of the farm here in Dubai and this is the building you want to come to. Now you can have different experiences here, you can stay here or you can book a ticket to come just to the Aura Lounge which is where we are now. We are here for breakfast. So we paid for our table and that money we can now use against the food and drinks here, which is pretty awesome. However, we really recommend that you book tickets for the Aura Sky Pool. We just missed out, which really sucks because we really want to do it so bad, but it books out so fast. It's a 360 degree infinity pool around the hotel with incredible views of the palm. So you book slots in throughout the day, morning, afternoon, evening, and that gives you access to the pool and some beautiful lounges and towels. And you can also order from the food here outside to the pool. So we, at the moment, unfortunately can't go in the pool, but the Ticket Plus Sky Lounge does include access to the outside. So we're gonna have a look around outside and still see the view, just not go in the pool. Well, my tea is very fancy. It comes with a timer of when it is properly brewed. Very cool, I've never seen something like that before. <laughs> So we have got some money left over on our credit here. So we both got a little bao bun each. This is a spicy tofu bao bun. Very cute. But we have more exciting news in a bao bun. We just got a cancellation. So we are gonna go to the pool. We have a seat. It was for four hours. So we've got about three and a half hours left. Yes, we actually bought our swimmers. Corey was like manifest and it's worked. Let's go for a swim. So we got a cancellation, which was just so lucky. And we have this sofa seat. There's different seats that you can get around the pool. You can get the front row seats or the second row, um, different areas, but we have a really nice little area. So we have a sofa. We don't have a full on lounger, but we have a sofa, which I'm, I don't mind, I don't mind. <laughs> it's actually a nice little private corner. And as you can see, this pool is just absolutely insane. It's one of the best views here in Dubai. So happy that we managed to get this cancellation. This was 350 dirham each. They gave us a little discount because we were here, you know, a bit later than the start time. It's a last minute cancellation, but I think we've got like maybe a couple of hours here. So we're just gonna swim around, 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 and take in the incredible view. Look at this! What an incredible! 
incredible view. You can see all around all the fronds of the palm. You can see the beach clubs down there. And we can see the most famous hotel, the Atlantic. Now this is 360 degrees, so you can swim all the way around. I think it is the only 360 degree infinity pool in the world. So it's definitely one to take up your bucket list. No, no. And I'm so glad that we got to do this today. Well, we're into our final 45 minutes here at the Skyport and we don't really want to leave but we're very happy that we chose to do this experience when we had the chance. It's absolutely delightful up here. As you can see the sun is now coming onto us so it's getting a bit hot but we can just jump in that cool pool and we've had a few laps around. The 360 degree element is just so awesome because you get all these different views, all the best of Dubai and yeah it really lives up to the hype here. We really recommend it. A popular excursion from Dubai is a trip to the desert on a safari tour, which usually includes an array of activities. We chose a trip that included a one-hour quad bike tour through the dunes at sunset, followed by a camp barbecue and an evening of belly and fire dancing entertainment. We have been driving through the desert for about half an hour now, we're just having a break for photos. Corey's going to try and get off the drone. But yeah, it's super hot out here, there's a drone. But the landscape is incredible. Just all of these golden hills. And we've got the sun, and the sun is setting, so it's even more beautiful with the golden rays over the hills. But yeah, this is pretty awesome. So we've been driving for about half an hour now through the desert and it's been pretty easy driving. It's not really like uh, ad super adventurous or any like big risks or anything. Sometimes you do get a bit of a lean, but if you're worried about going fast or doing crazy stunts or anything, there's none of that here. We're just following in single file through this amazing desert landscape. It's like, it's just out of this world. It's so, so foreign to me, but it's really enjoyable, very hot, and I think we're gonna start heading back now for our evening entertainment, which is gonna be very interesting. شدم غرق خیالت باز دوباره وی بجا سب رو تحمل است و چاره بجا سب رو now that we've finished our little buggy ride, we drove maybe like 20 minutes or so further out into the desert. We've come to this camp. And then there's like lots of tours all combined here. There's gonna be some entertainment later. I think like belly dancing or I think fire dancing maybe. Um, you can go ride a camel, we're not gonna do that. You can also get some food, so hoping there's some veggie options. And yeah, you can go get some shisha. Um, you have to pay for alcohol, but all our drinks are included. And yeah, excited to go and watch a show soon. Well, we've had our starter and now we're waiting for the entertainment, which I hear is belly dancing, which is quite cool. Uh, we're getting approached a lot asking if we want to buy souvenirs, so I thought it was maybe more of an authentic experience, but it is a bit of a tourist trap. Uh, but yeah, we have to have some starter and we've got this beautiful full moon rising too, which looks really special. Corey's just told me that these were really expensive. 70 dirhams. 100 dirhams, about 20 pounds, so... I thought they were like a couple of quid and then Corey got them and I was like, he, he would have done the exchange right in his head. I didn't, so I didn't know what it was. They would have cost like 20p and I just paid like 14 quid for it. What? <laughs> we got scams. <laughs> I thought this was the Emirati helmet for our quad biking, but clearly not because everyone did not wear one.
we have come to the Dubai Marina and we're just having a walk around. We're only really here out of curiosity and nosiness to see all the big yachts here. Surrounded by all these massive buildings and I believe this is where a lot of expats live. So this is a very expat friendly area. We've got loads of restaurants, cafes, shopping malls. Lots of people are like doing exercises or going for lunch. We are going to carry on walking around. Lots of little photo spots here in the marina and now we've got to this side. Looking back, I think it looks really lovely. It's very nice here, lots of restaurants and people keep asking us, you know, do you want to come and grab some food? But honestly, we've just eaten, <laughs> so we're all good, but they're very, you know, as soon as you say no thank you, they'll leave you alone, it's all good. And you can obviously come here and get lots of tours. We've been asked if we want to do a couple of tours, but to be honest, I think we're just a bit hot to be on, out on a boat all day. I think if we're here, towards the winter season, I think we'd have been more up for it. But yeah, this is where you come if you like to do some cruises or little day trips on a boat out of Dubai. We are on our way to the Marina Beach, which is a public beach here by the marina. It was about a 15, 20 minute walk from the main marina. So obviously we are a little bit hot. <laughs> So I really hope that, I'm not sure what the situation is, we have to go pay for some chairs, or we can just go and jump in the ocean. But I guess we'll show you, find out soon. I mean, it's a few degrees cooler. I mean, it's lovely temperature. I think it'd still be nice to go in, wouldn't it? <laughs> so this is JBR Public Beach, and here you have a lot of activities. There's like amusement park rides, there's a big floating pontoon with lots of um, inflatables. You can see over there, there's a huge ferris wheel, that's the largest ferris wheel in the world. And then behind us we've got all of these buildings, uh, the Hilton Hotel is right there. And you've just got a, an amazing view of the palm and you can see the Atlantis from here. There's like skydiving planes taking off from Skydive Dubai. It's just, there's so much to see here. There's so much to take in. It's just wonderful, it's like a big playground. Now, if you're wondering why at the moment it seems like there's not that many people around, part of the reason is it is very hot, but the other main reason is we're in the shoulder season right now. It is the end of September and next month it ticks over to the start of the season. Uh, we heard this from a taxi driver who was telling us all about it. The temperature two weeks ago was 50 degrees here. It is 10 degrees lower at the moment, so we have 40 degrees. But then next month it should get down to 30 degrees, which is much more manageable. So we are going to tackle the Dubai Metro links today and we're going to go to downtown. So we need to get some of these, the null cards, and they cost 50 dirham for two, so 25 each. And they already come with some credit on there, so I think it was like 19 dirham. She said it'll probably cost about 5 dirham just as a one-way ticket to downtown. So let's go and ride the Dubai Metro. <laughs> We have successfully made it on the metro to the metro station called Max and we are going to go and check out Dubai Frame now. It is in Zabil Park. Okay, time to queue up and get a ticket. So we have finally made it to the top and now we can see the view incredible from here. We can see old Dubai that way and to the left of me is new Dubai. And then below me is a massive drop and I have a terrible fear of heights and I feel sick just looking at it but Corey's been walking on it. <laughs> there is a lot of opportunities for you to get pictures by people. They'll give you a card and everything. But here you can stand and the glass changes from transparent to frosted and then it'll quickly snap back and be transparent again and it freaks people out. It's very cool and the good thing is you're not on a time limit up here so you can sort of hang out here as long as you want. Food options, drink um, and amazing views. Our 
feet are back on the ground, not up there in that crazy high frame. Really liked that the see-through floor was there. I think that's a really cool element. I was a little bit scared, but Corey loved it, and so many people were there taking photos, and it's a great attraction. I think that was really needed there, because otherwise, I don't know if it would have been worth all of that queuing. I mean, it's a great view from up top, and I like the aspect of the old Dubai and new Dubai. I can see what they're doing there. But the queuing time was far too long. Um, we've probably been here two, three hours just for that one short trip at the top and coming back down again. Even if you buy tickets in advance, it doesn't make it quicker, unfortunately. You still have to just wait with everyone in the queue. However, the bonus of this attraction is it's much cheaper. It's only about £10 each. I think when you come to Dubai, you want to go and see the viewpoints and this in comparison to Burj Khalifa, where that can be pushing £100 for two people. Uh, this is about £20 for two people. So this is a great view, lots of fun, but you're going to be queuing. We have come to the Dubai Mall, the largest mall in the entire world. We're probably going to get lost. Let's go check it out. So this mall is just like any other mall, just bigger. But we had like Marks and Sparks, um, Matalan, Next, you know like places that you sort of see in England here. And I was like, when do they have more stores that you should see in Europe? So Pullenberg, for example, is a store that I quite like to shop in when we're in Europe. And they have it, so let's go. For a little while now and as you can see behind me we have come to the famous waterfall it's a very popular spot here for photos and we've also seen the aquarium which is has a massive queue to get in there pretty epic we're not going to go there because it's not something we support but it does look beautiful and we've seen that ice rink did a little bit of shopping and essentially dubai mall is not like all the other malls around the world it's just much bigger and has loads of additional stuff in here like ice rinks like we said the aquarium Beautiful features like this, and the souk was also a really beautiful area too. Okay, we have come outside of the mall and it is so hot. We forgot how hot it was, but just sitting down on the steps is like, it's burning your butt cheeks. But anyway, we're outside. This is where the fountain is, and we are gonna cross over to the Time Out Market. Now this does feel like quite a cool little neighborhood here in Dubai. We are near Jumeirah Public Beach and we have the Burj Al Arab which is in the distance. Yeah, a lot of like cool little cafes, it's like surf shops. It's quite low lying, there's no really really tall buildings around here so it feels kind of like not as developed as other parts of Dubai. But we have a beach here as well, um, a lot of amenities, very cute, lots of palm trees and it is very very warm. <laughs> So there are really great amenities down on the beach here. You've got lifeguards, there's showers, and you can wash your feet under some taps there. There's also a cafe restaurant and a little uh, juice shack. Lots of little bits of shade as well under the palm trees or on some seats. And uh, yeah, it seems like a great place to come if you want to spend the day at the beach. As well as that, it is free. So behind me is the famous Burj Al Arab, also known as the only seven star hotel in the world. But actually that is a myth busted because there's only five star hotels in the world. The rating only goes up to five stars. So the hotel itself actually dismisses that claim. They say they didn't create that. However, it's great marketing for them. And I guess like, I feel like it was something a newspaper magazine around the world called it and it's stuck. And obviously it's fantastic marketing for them. But even so, it is a luxury hotel and one of a kind in the world. Because it was the first skyscraper to be built on an artificial island, it's quite a few hundred feet from Jumeirah Beach and you can access it by a bridge. Now, you can only visit if you're an in-house resident and I think prices start from minimum like a thousand dollars a night minimum and you get one two or three bedroom hotel rooms however you can visit if you have a dining reservation so you can book for a very nice probably expensive dining experience but then you can also say you visited Burj Al Arab
thank you so much for watching our video on Dubai. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.